<laughs> Your brother Divine getting this shimmy on. I don't know if y'all can hear the music, but peace to the family. Peace to the family. Peace to the family. Highest vibrations to the family today on this uh, hump day, Wednesday. Uh, this is the vlog that I've been doing, uh, Life as an Entrepreneur. Uh, this is actually day five right here. So um, I know I want to say it was episode three or day three. I was talking about just uh, self-educating yourself, educating self. A lot of the things that I've learned, <coughs> I didn't learn in school. And uh, because pretty much school teaches you <coughs> not to be your own boss. <coughs> Please excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. Let me take a sip of my water. But yeah, they don't teach you how to be your own boss. They teach you how to be like a worker, literally. Pretty much what they tell you to do is go to school, uh, graduate, go to college, graduate, get your degree, and go work for somebody. They don't really teach you how to uh, work for self and fend for self. And uh, a lot of the rich people, they know this. Uh, a lot of the things they've learned, their ancestors or their, you know, their family passes down from generation to generation, man. These are the things that, you know, they talk about at their dinner table, you know, while they're having dinner or whatnot with the family, man, just how to uh, actually create generational wealth. And uh, one of my most favorite artists, man, Fly How to Pimp C, man. Uh, I don't listen to a lot of rap, but I know Pimp C, man, he said this when he had got out of prison. Uh, especially for my uh, quote unquote black people on the side of the water or whatnot. Uh, we don't read books. You want to hide anything from a black person, man, put it in the book. So, um, I know when he got out of prison, he had read maybe like three or four libraries worth of books. And a lot of the books on one of his albums that he was, uh, I think it was not as, it's like his second to last album, uh, The Pimpolation. One of the songs, he was just naming off a lot of books or whatnot. And these are a lot of books that I picked up myself, added to my collection, actually uh, planted the information in my head and put it to some kind of use or whatever. Um, you know, that was like kind of like a part of my spiritual journey. But as far as like the education, like I say, today we're going to have a book day. I want to show y'all guys a lot of books uh, that I've read. These aren't, and these books that I've selected, these aren't, books that uh, only the only business books I've read I've read numerous other business books these are just the ones I felt like because they were kind of like a starter for me uh, or just things that I added on to my arsenal or whatnot uh, that I feel like you could uh, actually benefit from um, I know I was talking about Rich Dad Poor Dad if you guys have never read this book I suggest you go get it uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki Excellent read. It's a very uh, easy read, real quick read. It's not too many uh, pages or whatnot. And it's just talking about uh, our lack of understanding about how money actually works. I mean, we think we have an understanding of what how money works, but we really don't. Uh, and this book really points out a lot of things. Uh, and I should have grabbed it out. Uh, I grabbed all these other books from this uh, series, but uh, it just states a lot of life, life lessons that he learned. Uh, from his friend's dad, which was an entrepreneur, a very rich guy in Hawaii, and his dad was a teacher. And that was pretty much his poor dad. And he's just pretty much uh, giving life lessons. And like I say, truth, that's the only uh, actual, I mean, excuse me, living experience is the only truth there is in this manifest. So, you know, uh, being able to take life lessons from you know things that you experienced and actually were there for and observed and uh, you know actually seeing how you know it played out or whatnot and just you know like I say learning from it uh, and he took this information and he pretty much made a book out of it and uh, a lot of these books that I have like I said are part of the Rich Dad Poor Dad uh, series uh, very very informational books very informational books. I just want to get into one of them right here. This is Start Your Own Corporation and uh, Gary Sutton Esquire uh, actually wrote it, but it was forwarded by, forwarded by Robert Kiyosaki. Uh, if you don't have this book, I suggest you add this to your, uh, your bookshelf, guys.
book just has so much information in it or whatnot. And um, it talks about, you know, um, which would be the better um, set of um, the better setup for you, an LLC or a corporation. It tells it goes through all of the differences, tells you the pros and the cons of each one of these uh, business formations or whatnot, as far as your structure goes. Um, one one thing that shocked me that I most definitely didn't know, and I don't know if a lot of business owners know this about um, the advantages of using Nevada and Wyoming as your business entity or whatnot. Uh, one of the reasons is for uh, taxation purposes, uh, because Nevada and Wyoming, both of these states are like uh, no state income tax. So that makes uh, the states like very high, uh, you know, favorable for uh, retirees or whatnot. And on business taxes, Wyoming has the numerical uh, edge or whatnot. Uh, Nevada has the the asset protection uh, advantage because that's I think this part right here it says that that's the only state uh, up to this reading or whatnot that uh, still offers a charging order protection or whatnot, which is a very key asset protection device. And uh, what that pretty much is is if somebody sues you or your business or sues your business, it'll make it like really really hard for them to get your money, really hard, like to the point of they're going to get tired of uh, dealing with you and they just going to go somewhere else. And uh, like I said, there's no state income tax. So money wise, um, it's a favorable state. Um, and also the uh, protection your asset wise, let's say that uh, I'm a screen printer and I just purchased uh, a 10, $20,000 piece of equipment, uh, a DTG printer or whatnot. Um, what I would do is, if I was a had my screen print shop in Huntsville or whatever, I would open up a like a, a equipment a screen printing leasing equipment leasing company or whatnot in Wyoming, and uh, pretty much, what was it Wyoming or Nevada? Oh, that was a net. I was trying to get them. Y'all saw that I missed them too. <laughs> but uh, which state was it? Let me go back because it was one of these states about the asset protection. Uh, I think it was Wyoming though. That's what I'm looking for. Yep, asset protection. Yeah, Wyoming. Uh, by using Wyoming uh, corporations or whatnot to hold and lease assets to your state uh, corporation, you can protect valuable corporate assets or whatnot. So that's why I was using the example if I was a screen printer or whatnot, I would set up like a, a leasing company in Wyoming. Uh, to lease my own equipment to me and that'll be like extra protection on my assets or whatnot uh, segregating my assets you know from all my uh, other business entities and stuff like that so it's a lot of advantages just uh, to that right there and uh, it was one part I wanted to yeah there's my bookmark there here we go uh, and I'm gonna pull it up on the uh, on the screen so y'all can see it. But uh, it's talking about just uh, our rights as taxpayers. Uh, it says uh, right here. You just look at where I got it highlighted. U.S. Supreme Court uh, decision. What was it? Hell. What is it? Helvering versus Gregory or whatnot. It was a decision made by the uh, U.S. Supreme Court, and it says the legal right of the taxpayer to decrease. The amount of what otherwise would be his taxes or otherwise or uh, altogether avoid them by any uh, by means which the law permits cannot be doubted. I'm going to say that one more time because I kind of stutter step. The legal right of the taxpayer to decrease the amount of what otherwise would be his taxes or altogether avoid them by means which the law permits cannot be doubted. So it's pretty much saying like. It's your obligation, you know, as a citizen that you can decrease your taxes by however many, by any means necessary. And uh, they used a statement, I wonder where I have it, because it was saying something about uh, avoiding taxes is different than, uh, avoiding taxes is different than evading taxes. Avoiding taxes will make you a millionaire. Evading taxes will get you five to 10 in prison. <laughs> Yeah, um, these books are really, really clutch to have, man, uh, in your arsenal. 
as far as uh, you know, if you're in business or whatnot. Like I said, these are all part of the Rich Dad Poor Dad series. Every one of these books. Uh, where's the? Yeah, I, I really suggest if anybody that's dealing in like selling houses and stuff like that, I really suggest y'all get this one right here. Uh, because I didn't know something and this book taught me that. I'm gonna ask y'all a question. Y'all be honest with yourselves and just leave comments and tell me if this blew your mind or you just didn't know. Who do y'all think owns the most real estate in the in the whole world? Who do y'all think owns the most real estate in the world? Take a wild guess. I'm gonna give y'all a few minutes. Take a little sip of my, my good spring water. Get you some spring water, man. Good for the body, man. <laughs> Have y'all figured it out yet? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and tell y'all. I'm gonna give y'all a hint. What they are known for, it'll completely blow your mind. McDonald's. McDonald's actually owns the most real estate in the whole world. They uh, own more real estate than the uh, Roman Catholic Church. And uh, it's, it's trippy because it's, it's the way they set up their whole franchise East, uh, program or whatever with you know, people that wanna uh, own uh, or like I say franchise these McDonald's but they're really doing they're buying this real estate this prime real estate you got to think about there's McDonald's everywhere in the world and these franchisees are pretty much paying the utilities to rent all that and they're paying the property uh, paying off to get this property whatever uh, soon as this McDonald's closed down guess what Ray Kroc still owns this property there's so many uh, empty lots you know, in Huntsville, that used to be uh, McDonald's or whatnot. Like I say, that's Ray Kroc's property. You feel me? So that that man, there's so many loopholes in that right there. Uh, another book. Like I say, I'm big on social media marketing. Uh, Facebook. What is this? Ultimate Guide to Facebook Advertising. Very clutch book, teach you about how to write up uh, proper ads for uh, your marketing on social media, especially uh, Facebook. It teaches about how to maximize on using paid ads, things of that nature. Uh, this is another social media marketing book right here. That I really, really like right here. Um, people don't like the, and they call them the yellow book. My brother called it yellow book. A lot of people don't like these books. I love these books right here. I don't know why people don't like them. I learn a lot from them. Maybe it's just because they're so big and intimidating. I don't know. But I like these books right here. Uh, this is very clutch because it goes through all of the different social media uh, platforms. It goes through a lot of, uh, just a lot of information about technology and stuff as far as like social media, things of that nature. Uh, of course, I'm getting into Etsy. So I've been, I had this uh, book right here for a minute right here, the starting the Etsy, another one of the yellow books. Uh, let me see yeah these two books right here are pretty clutch right here and this one is actually for the baby this is for like teenagers and stuff like that uh, the young entrepreneur's guide to starting and running a business uh, the reason I got it is because I mean I'm a young entrepreneur I'm talking about as far as like in the mind I don't know anything about business so yeah I got this book and people are like why did you get this man they're teaching these teenagers man some real clutch things about like you know uh, cash flow or uh, writing out balance uh, sheets and statements pretty much like becoming like your own accountant uh, accountant it teaches you how to do all this stuff yourself real clutch book right here I suggest y'all check this one out right here uh, what's some more information I want to drop because I'm telling you everything to stop me from giving this information is, is trying today but we're going to keep on pushing through because man, the information has to be put out here. This is another clutch thing you should have. Tax Guide for Small Businesses, Publication 334. Remember that, guys. And they updated, uh, up, excuse me, update this every tax season. Uh, Publication 334. You want to get this if you're a small business owner. Remember, I was saying they give a lot of uh, incentives to the small business owners. But um, yeah, um, back to these tax credits or whatnot. Um, I'm gonna post a picture of that so y'all guys can see it. But 
uh, what they have uh, tax credits for like alternative fuel vehicle refueling uh, property credit. Uh, yeah, here's that uh, what uh, credit for employer provided child care facilities and services. That's when I was talking about for the sisters that, uh, you know, they might have had a business or whatnot. They got uh, credit for uh, paid family and medical leave. Uh, credits for uh, small employer health insurance premiums, uh, pretty much providing health insurance for your employees or whatnot, which you can make yourself an employee. And I mean, like, because that's that's why you want to set up the LLCs. It makes it a whole different entity. It's, it's a separate entity. That's what that EIN number is. Picture, uh, you know how we're born with a, a social security number. Well, business is born with the EIN number and it makes it its own personality, its own entity. So this is why it's better to be go ahead and start up an LLC. A lot of people get intimidated, especially by the paperwork. It is not hard, guys. I am not college ed educated, and this is not to uh, to knock the sister. But uh, when me and my brothers had the screen print shop, this uh, sister said she had like two MBAs from college or whatnot, and pretty much I was charging that woman fifty dollars to help her set up her uh, paperwork as far as like her LLC. Like I say, I didn't graduate college. I went to college maybe uh, a semester and dropped out because uh, I was in my lower self and I was eating a lot of X pills. <laughs> I mean, just true statement. You know, we're gonna be honest in this uh, in this blog or whatnot. Uh, that's what was going on. So I'm not college educated. Like I say, I'm self educated. Big difference. Real big difference. They're not teaching people how to uh, become their own bosses and. I mean, that's why you see a lot of people choosing to, you know, work for other people, which is cool. You know, you pick your poison. Uh, but that's why, you know, and a lot of people might disagree with Kanye. Hey, hey that, he says a lot of classic things. Hey, a wrong clock is right twice a day. Uh, he says slavery was a choice. And a lot of people do choose that uh, financial slavery or uh, debt slavery. That's what it pretty much is, debt slavery uh, now. Uh, especially with what's going on with the economy now, just look at Bitcoin. Even though, you know, I believe in Bitcoin, it's probably going to go back up, but you see it's going down, down, baby, you know, so. It's all about just having multiple income streams. I'm trying to uh, maximize seven revenue streams. I have a lot of different business ideas that I have in, in place uh, that pretty much my apothecary shop is gonna help bring it to fruition. Uh, like I say, McDonald's, they're not in the business of uh, hamburgers. They're in the business of real estate. So who, who, who's to say that, uh, you know, my business in the business of incense and body oils can't be in the business of real estate. I mean, this is why you have these different business entities to maximize certain things and do certain things for you. But if you don't have the know-how, and I mean, I know a lot of people rather just pay somebody to do it, but this is how a lot of people get uh, get messed out of a lot of money and, and sign up messed up contracts because they didn't understand the fine print or the lingo that these people were speaking. You know, when you sit down and talk to your accountant, you know, they use certain terminology. Do you understand what they're saying? Do they break it down for you? I mean, this is just saves you a whole lot of uh headache by uh, learning a little bit of everything. That's one thing Rich Dad Poor Dad in that book um, that y'all need to go get because today was book day, book club day. Um, you want to learn, you want to know a little bit of everything. You don't want to know one thing. You want to know a little bit of everything. So when you do, you know, uh, start paying people to play certain positions or whatnot, like I say, you can talk the lingo, you can explain uh, you know, information to them, re uh, reland it to them of how you want certain things to operate in your business or whatnot, and it just make things a whole much smoother. And also, uh, it keeps you from getting cheated. In business, it's a cutthroat business. I'm talking about anything in business, it's cutthroat. Pretty much, it's cutthroat. Uh, it's not sweet, and you really have to protect your energy. You have to, uh, like I was saying uh, in that other uh, uh, vlog or whatnot. Uh, your trade secrets, your intellectual property. I mean, there's so much that comes into it. Uh but yeah, um, you really need to check these books out, guys. Like I said, this is the stuff they're not teaching in schools. Uh, and this is how, you know, generational wealth is actually created. 
uh, like I say, uh, anything that I've said in these uh, in these vlogs or whatnot, feel free to hit me up and let's rotate. Um, if I uh, said something that might have went over your head, uh, feel free to contact me or whatnot. Like I said, if I uh, didn't elaborate on something and you knew what I was talking about, yeah, just let me know. Uh, let's spread the information. That's what it's all about, man, the spread of information. Because I'm a, I'm a big unity guy. So, um, But I'm going to go ahead and get off this vlog. Uh, I got to do my inventory. Um, I got the square app, so I got to put everything in my, in my square app or whatever. Uh, the square app is so awesome. If you don't have a square app and you're a vendor and you take credit card payments, I don't know why. I see a lot of people doing the cash app thing, which cash app is cool. Uh, I try to fit all, you know, but Square app, it, it just, it's a swipe. They got different type of uh, hardware that you can get or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I got my body oils, new body oils are in. I'll be at um, Weather for Men. I'm gonna try uh, to go out tomorrow, which will be Thursday here. Uh, it'll be a later day when y'all see this vlog, but trying to get out there. Uh, but if not, I'll just be doing a couple videos of just me uh, making jewelry, just being productive. Like I say, I've been uh, productive all day yesterday. That's why I didn't do a, a vlog yesterday because I was just pretty much doing uh, editing for the vlog. <laughs> uh, and that would have just been me, you know, being bored, uh, well, probably boring you guys or whatnot, but I felt like this had been a little bit more educational day. So I pulled out all my books or whatnot. Not all my books, but all of the ones that I felt like, you know, you guys really need to check out. So, but peace and love and high vibration to the family. I'm gonna go ahead and get to this. Uh, like I say, feel free to hit me up. Uh, and yeah, uh, peace and prosperity. Please get these books. Cause like I said, if anything did go over your head, if you get any of these books, they break it down in such a fashion where, and they use real life scenarios. So, I mean, that's why I really like all of those books. Uh, so very info informational. So peace and love to the family and the tribe, man. Like I say, uh, let's all be millionaires. It's, Cause once you make your first man, the next man is easy. And it's possible, it's achievable. Like I say, discipline, educating yourself, and uh, a lot of willpower. Willpower is the real power. Brother Divine said that. Peace to the family. Work, work, work. I'ma work for so, I keep that work going for so. Work going for the low. Work. He is the most work. interesting yeah. man in the world. Hey, work, 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 work. I'ma work for so, I need my teeth. Please, I got a fan of bees, so I'm chasing out the bank rolls. Don't worry about what kind of work I do. Got the piece of man, I got that gun. Ain't gon' work, I'm trying to get my watch. Keep some work that for so. Work, 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 work. I'ma work for so, I need my teeth. I got a fan of bees, so I'm chasing out the bank rolls. Don't worry about what kind of work I do. Like the piece of man, I got dope. Young nigga gon' work, I'm trying to get more. I need that work that Hey, look, what few niggas look like you gon' tell? You working for 12, I work for myself. BLE shit, had to get it out the mud on my own, ain't get much help. Now I got a team, but we up now. It's time to work, work, work. BLE prevents the tape on the way, so go get your popcorn and perks. It's a movie, ain't too many doing the shit I'm doing with the music. Where I keep dropping, I got them all confused. What the fuck is he doing? Tell him stand these people. I'ma drop every month, that's the way I'm gonna take off Work, 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 all I know is cocky and I don't get no days off Work, 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 I'ma work for so I need my teeth Please, I got a fan of bees, so I'm chasing out the bank rolls Don't worry about what kind of work I do, got like the piece of man I got dope Young nigga gon' work, I'm trying to get more, I keep some work that for so 